with the new Reaper issue for Batman Beyond, which I've been really looking forward to, because I've been a really big fan of Terry McGinnis. Um, he had been him and Dick Grayson are, are to me are like the, the fan of Robin to take Bruce's way in this place. Like it's either gonna be Terry McGinnis or Dick Grayson. That's kind of my opinion. And I love Terry McGinnis' you know, comedy comedic routine. I love how he can he did a Batman who can literally go toe to toe with the Joker and take him on. Like I really believe that he can take his wit. He can take his upset anger. He could take his insanity and he could match it. That's why I think Terry McGinnis is what makes Terry McGinnis such a great character. He can match um, the Joker in many ways without being a Joker. He can do all things that the um, Joker can do. I mean, I like, he's not crazy or insane or anything, but he, he can take on a Joker. He can communicate with a Joker in a way that Batman couldn't. Um, he's not the other side of a coin like um, Bruce Wayne Batman was. Um, he did his own call. He's a totally like wild card to the Joker. No one doesn't know what to do when you meet Terry McGinnis. I mean, it's like it's like if Joker met Deadpool pretty much. Like, well, how would Joker react if you really met Deadpool? Joker wouldn't know what to do against Deadpool because he Deadpool was so insane. And that's kind of how Terry McGinnis is. He's so insane that not even the Joker can predict what he can do. And speaking of the Joker, hey, the Joker comes in at the end of this issue. Um, that's kind of the character who they're trying to resurrect. He's been dead for all this time. And now they're trying to do everything they can to kind of bring him back. Bring back the Joker. Uh, it was a little early for this run, I think. I think they could have waited a little longer before they brought back the Joker. But hey, what can you do? I'm going to try to bring back the Joker. And I'm all right with that. Um, one thing I will say, I'm kind of disappointed of the lack of any mention of Tim Drake at all because I know he was the last Batman Beyond. Um, but whatever, he's he wasn't mentioned, so what's the big deal there? Um, but yeah, you guys, I think my thoughts on Batman Beyond Rebirth. I don't know if you can get down in the comments below, and of course, please subscribe for any more comic book reviews. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.